angry, scared and confused, asking yourself why me and what did I do to deserve these things? Is it my fault this is happening to me? Feeling like you're in a place that's spinning out of control. You're trying to hold on to it, but nothing seems to be working. Barely keeping your head above water. A million things running through your mind. You want to scream, but will anyone actually hear you? Not wanting to cause any more problems, you keep quiet, but it's eating away at you. The emotional pain is too much to bear, so you cut a little here and you cut a little there. Till your whole arm is covered, but still nobody cares. They start calling you names like emo and freak until you give up, you find some rope and you're finally at peace. Abuse of any kind is hard to bear. How much more makeup can you put on to hide what's really under there? Another bruise, another black eye and all for what? To lay next to him at night and stay cause it must be love. Cause when you learn about love the wrong way you don't know what's right. It's too late, you're in intensive care and you're fighting for your life. If you know someone who's been abused, sexually, mentally, physically or emotionally, don't just stand by. How are they ever gonna trust someone if you keep turning a blind eye? Cause even though they say, nah, it's okay, I'm all good. Their insides are screaming out and you've labeled them as misunderstood. That little girl who's being raped by someone she is supposed to trust thinks it's her fault for being so desirable to be touched. And while she tries to hide her pain, the clothes she wears and the way she acts tells you nothing is the same. Her whole world has been flipped upside down, pregnant at 13 with no one around. And why? Because the adult who should be looking after her asks no questions and they sweep it under the rug. And you wonder why she doesn't want to hug that man at a family lunch. Acting like everything is normal doesn't make the problem go away. And drinking will only solve it but for a day. Sticking needles in your arm to relieve some kind of pain only makes you an addict and affects your brain in the worst kind of way. Abuse. The cycle goes round and around until someone gets tired and says enough is enough. I'm sick of being pushed down. I know how it feels. I've been there before. And though drugs and suicide were never the answer, alcohol wasn't very far and that's for sure. I didn't abuse it. I would only drink just for fun. But my memories were still in my head, beating out my skull. I couldn't control everything, so I would dye my hair and change my looks. Biting my nails until they bled was all it took. I pulled my hair out strand by strand and danced in a nightclub until no end. I tried everything to forget, but nothing seemed to work. And the scars in my life started to appear and really hurt. So I laid it all down at the feet of the king and forgave my brother so healing could begin. That's what I did and I encourage you to do the same. And you're probably watching this thinking, are you insane? How can I forgive them? How can I just let it go? You have no idea how much they hurt my soul. Actually, I do. I know it all too well. I felt the same pain. But why should you live your life in anger when they're happy living their life every single day? You don't have to feel like you're alone. There are people going through the exact same thing. Stand up for yourself and see what strength it brings. If you're not feeling the whole God thing, then try something else. But if all else fails, know that He shed His blood just for you, so you wouldn't have to face it alone. Let go of that God. Don't let the abuse stay in control.